Hey, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I normally drink my coffee sitting in my easy chair watching the news, but I've decided the news, I need to take a break from it. The news is getting to be a bit much. So uh, I thought I would. Uh, Michael Chips are in the house. How you doing, Michael? Gerald Vance, Kyle Buckley. What's the social occasion? Well, I've, I've, I've taken a break from watching the news and drinking my coffee. I've still got my coffee, but I figured uh, I'll come and, and just get online here, on uh, do a live and see uh, see who shows up to have coffee with us. <laughs> and that'd be a little more relaxing uh, than watching the crazy news. It's uh, just gotten really crazy lately. So, so here I am. Good morning, Hollis fan. How are you, buddy? He says, I'm doing well since I know what day it is. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm confused. I just realized that, you know, there's probably not a worse feeling than, than laying in the bed and you hear the trash truck coming down the street and you realize you didn't set the trash out. But I'm kind of mixed up. I, you know, every time I do something out of the ordinary, like I just went out of town this past weekend, so uh, it's got me all confused on what day it is. I thought about it for a while yesterday, but it was, it was early and I thought, well, I'll remember it. I'll take it. I'll take it out. But sure enough, about six o'clock, uh, I'm laying in the bed and I hear the trash truck coming down the street and I'm like, ah, oh, nuts, but it's okay. Cause since I was out of town, there's not a lot of stuff in it. Most of the time I, you know, me, just me and the dogs here, there's not but one or two bags in the thing anyway. So, Good morning, Graham. How are you? Mr. Senecola in the house. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I need to, uh, Jim, you want to join me on here? I'll, I'll uh, send you a link. I, I'm anxious to hear how you're doing with your um, guitar that you got the other day. If you'd like to join me, let me know and I'll be sure and send you any, or anybody else for that matter. Like I said, I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, <laughs> taking a break from the news. Did y'all hear about the, uh, the, uh, I guess it was California decided now it's okay to, for, um, college athletes to try to get, get paid. I mean, what's up with that? They are, you know, the, the, the good ones are already getting a free scholarship and free tuition and board and all that stuff. I just don't, uh, I don't get that. And of course it's gonna, all the other states are going to have to come up and do something similar. So they, so everybody won't want to go out to California, go to college, I guess. But, uh, Jim Santacola says he's laying in bed. I hope you're feeling okay, Jim. We got David Crook in the house. How you doing? Um, yeah, it's, uh, and then the other crazy story I heard on the news yesterday, I don't know if it made the national news or not, but there was a story on the local news about a shooting at a subway restaurant. Um, here we got George watching from Liberia. How you doing, George? I guess when you do these lives in the morning, it's it, people are some of them are still up on the other side of the, the world there. Yeah, but anyway, so there was a shooting at the, the subway um, in Atlanta somewhere. And I guess there was an argument. But what was what struck me as funny is I saw the story first on on the Facebook news feed and it's and it called <laughs> it said that a subway sandwich artist shot a couple of customers or something that were in there to cause trouble. So I'm thinking, you know, I go to subway pretty often, 
but I've never thought of the, the kid behind the counter slapping my sandwich together. I've never thought of them as an artist. And I just thought that was a little funny that they, they called them that in that, uh, in that news story. Hitch Hamilton in the house. How you doing, Hitch? Mike Haichu. Good morning, everybody. If you're just tuning in here and wondering what in the heck is Dave doing on here at nine o'clock in the morning, I'm just I'm just having my coffee. That's all I'm doing. I thought I'd get on here and see if there's any friends on here. And um, like I said, I'd take a break from watching the news. Um, gonna have a cool show this Saturday. Um, gonna be talking, having my buddy Ryan Ballard um, back on. It seems like it wasn't that long I had him on, but then when I went and looked, um, okay, Hollis, have a great day. Um, David Jones in the house. Good morning, David. How are you? It's afternoon here in Liberia, 1, 1 p.m., I guess. Rusty Taylor in the house. Rusty just had an awesome uh, Georgia festival, uh, Cigar Box Festival, that Dad Gummit, I wasn't able to attend, but I will be there next year. So, how you doing, Rusty? Um, yeah, we're going to have Ryan Ballard back on. I, I thought it hadn't been that long since he was on. And then when I went back and looked at the other videos, it was like August of 2018, I guess. So it's been well over a year. So he's coming back on this Saturday. We're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi, controlling a CNC with a Raspberry Pi. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what y'all got going on? We've got 14 people right here. Uh, watching, I think. Uh, good morning, John. How are you? John Payton in the house. Um, is anybody going to make anything cool out in their shop today? I need to get out there and try to try to do a little stuff. I've been doing some 3D modeling, um, which is a good time to, to do it, I guess, because this weather we're having has just been ridiculous. They, I've not lost count. I think it's like 80 some, almost 90 days that we've had 90, 90 degrees or hotter. And it's, uh, man, my poor yard is, is pretty crunchy when you walk across it. But, um, I don't know where he's watching. Good evening. He says, all right. Well, good evening to you. Grant Davis. Hey, Grant, how are you doing? I saw you had posted some stuff over the weekend, uh, making some stuff with your garage works. Good to see you getting a little shop time. I'm just uh, more time to see and see than cutting grass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David Stewart says on vacation myself wasn't home for the 40 inches of rain in Southeast Texas. Wow. I wish we'd have got a little bit of that. I don't think, of course I was out of town for the weekend. I left and was gone Friday, uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But from the looks of things, I don't think I got uh, not a drop of rain the whole time I was gone. And it didn't rain anywhere in between. I think on the way home, it sprinkled just a little bit in Tennessee. And that was it. Not even enough, really, to turn the wipers on. Um, but uh, beautiful weather in Indiana. Had a great time. Went to my 45th high school reunion. Saw a bunch of old friends. And made a few new ones from some people I accidentally ran into. Um, so that was kind of cool. But it was, uh, I wished I'd had more time to spend uh, to do things because we were really kind of, kind of pushed. Uh, we, you know, uh, Barbara flew in 
Thursday, I picked her up at the airport. And Friday morning, we had to take the dogs down to uh, the boarding place, the kennel where they were going to stay. And they didn't open until nine. So it was really about by the time we dropped them off and got on the road, it was about 10 o'clock. And we um, made a pretty good time. Uh, we got up there about 6.45, I guess, to Plainfield. And, uh, but, you know, had got up, um, got in the hotel and then checked in and went to some, a, a little weenie roast type thing that they had, uh, at a cabin on Friday night and went back, got up Saturday morning, um, ran around. I actually ended up spending most of the day walking cemeteries of all things. Um, but anyway, and then went to the the dinner and the reunion thing Saturday night. And of course got up early Sunday and headed back. So it was pretty much a really fast trip for us. Let's see what Grant says. If I, I was North in Missoula, Montana last week and no snow on the ground Sunday, they had 40 plus inches of snow. Yeah. When I, when I was doing my live stream from the reunion, I was talking with a, a classmate of ours that couldn't make it to the reunion, but she lives in Montana and they were getting snow then, I think. Uh, and of course got a good bit, good bit overnight. So anyhow, I want to ask a question of the, the folks that are out there watching. How many of y'all have already gotten your flu shot or do you get a flu shot? I said, let me hear your opinions on flu shots. Usually that's a, uh, you know, people either love them or they hate them. Um, I haven't got mine yet, but I'll probably uh, try to run down to Publix and get mine today. Uh, every time I mention flu shots on Facebook or I post something about them, people are like, oh, you shouldn't get those. You can get sick and blah, blah, blah. Okay, Mike says two weeks ago he got his. Um, yeah, I've, I've been here. I've been getting them. And Greg, here we go. Greg Hamilton says, don't do it. See, I, I always go and, um, uh, and get one. I've got one every year for, I don't know how long, except for one year, one year I messed around and I, for some reason I just didn't go and get it. And guess who got the flu that year? And I thought I was going to freaking die. It was, you know, I know there's a lot of folks say, oh, I never get them, you know, or whatever. But I always get one. And like I said, that one year I'd skipped. I got sick as a dog. So I'm going to go get one. And they say they're trying to, again, from the news here, they, I heard that they're trying to come up with something where you can get one that'll last you a decade or something like that. But, um, yeah, we're getting a lot of folks here. I never get the flu shot. I never get flu shots. Mike says, first time being like always in bed too early to catch you. Well, I'm glad you're able to catch me. My, uh, I'm not talking about CNC stuff. Oh, I'm just kind of drinking coffee and talking to some friends here. So nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing exciting. Mm, that's good stuff. Uh, David Jones says, I need a pneumonia vaccine every year for a long time now. No problem. Yeah, that's the same with me. Like I said, the only time I had a problem was the one year I skipped. And, and of course, back then, uh, I mean, I might be able to go without and it wouldn't be a problem because now my life is a lot different than it used to be, you know, just three or four years ago. You know, I used to work in an office people coming in and out, you know, you're shaking hands with a lot of folks and, and I know how it is. People, um, you know, people, when they do get sick, they go on to work and that's, you know, because and a lot, you know, you can't blame them though, cause they can't afford to stay home. So they drag their butt into work sick. And then all they do is make coworkers sick. So, um, yeah, but I might be able to get away with it now since I'm home and I don't ever go anywhere. <laughs> I don't, you know, a lot of times I'll go days and never even talk to a real person, you know, and I don't count the online stuff, but 
Um, not that you aren't real people. I'm sure you are. But, uh, yeah, I go day, days, sometimes weeks, and don't ever even talk to anybody because I'm, I'm right here and I don't go anywhere. But, uh, see, Mark Graves says, I get them because I don't have a spleen anymore. Yeah. Charles T. Good morning, Dave. I've got mine every year since 72. Wow, that's that's a long time. Kathy says, I still get flu shots. Okay. See, it's always about 50-50, I think. Um, Jim Santa Claus then moved over to YouTube now, looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always about 50-50 when you, when you see the Facebook debates on, on flu shots. But all I know is when I get one, I don't get sick. And when I don't get one, I get sick. So Mr. Awesome Wood Things, Matt, the piano man, Haas in the house. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. I'm just, uh, since you're just joining, it looks like I'm just here shooting the breeze, having my morning coffee. And thought I would go live here and just see who shows up. We've had a bunch of uh, good folks over here in the chat. Yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you're a YouTuber and you haven't checked out Matt Haas, uh, he's got like, uh, what do you got now, Matt? 14 channels or something like that? <laughs> I know he's got, uh, I think, three of them that I know of. He's got the Awesome Wood Things channel, which is when he's making awesome things out of wood. Uh, and then it's um, he's got All Things YouTube, where he uh, gives you tips on uh, and all the latest news and gossip about YouTube. Uh, and then he's also just recently started, um, what is it, Awesome Piano, I think? Yeah, something like that, uh, where he's teaching himself how to play piano and sharing that with others. Kathy, Kathy nailed it right here. Coffee is starter fluid. You got that right. I don't. <laughs> I gotta have my coffee. Piano Awesome is the channel name. Okay, there we go. And it's only four channels, not 14. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting on that one, uh, All Things Pumpkin Spice. You know, I'm sure you're going to be doing that one here before long, too. But um, glad, glad you popped in here, Matt. Um... Let's see what time it is. It's about 20 after. I'm not going to keep y'all long. Like I said, I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. And, uh, uh oh, we got to, let's see. All right. See you, Kathy. Have a great day. Grant says he's never drank a cup of coffee in his life. Wow. That's amazing. Listen to Matt. He says, I may add another channel for this live stream. <laughs> uh, he cracks me up. Yeah, I don't know, Grant. I, I got to have it, man. It's like uh, what, what if you if you don't if you don't drink coffee or you've never had a cup of coffee in your life, what is your starter fluid? I mean, what 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 what's the thing you got to have every morning to get going? Rob Schuster in the house. Morning. Off to work in a few minutes. Have a great day at work, Rob. Steve Ellison. Morning. Got my coffee also. Yeah. Grant Davis. We'll send you a get well card. <laughs> Chocolate milk or Mountain Dew. Oh, man. Mountain Dew. I know when I back when I used to uh, work at, at the sheet metal shops. I don't know what it is, but 
the younger crowd always seem to have the Mountain Dews or those crazy uh, monster energy drinks and, and stuff. And I always thought it was funny. I'm like, well, why do the young guys have have energy drinks? You know, they should have plenty of energy, but I don't know. Here's another vote for Mountain Dew. Darren Bird says he's almost done with the first pot. I'm I'm probably um, you know unlike a lot of people. I love my coffee, but I don't I don't. Uh, I mean I do have like some uh, what is it Maxwell House or Folger? I think it's Maxwell House, uh, but I only make that if I've got somebody else here where they're going to be drinking coffee too. Because since it's just me. I use a, an instant brand and I just run water because it's easy. Because if I, if I make a pot of coffee, I forget about it. And then it's sitting there and you got the little thing in there with the grounds all nasty and stuff. So, um, uh oh, Matt says, been over a month since he posted a woodworking video that will change today. New video coming. Well, it's about time. I mean, come on. <laughs> George Bubba in the house. Coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Good morning, Dave. Thank you, uh, Ed. Hope you're doing well down there in Warner Robins. Never drank coffee until my stroke, then two a day ever since. I think I will die without it. Yeah. I'm on my third cup to pull your slack for you. Yeah, I, I'm not a, you know, I love coffee, but I don't drink a whole lot of it either. If I drink a third cup, that's that's uh, pretty unusual. Good morning from San Diego. Way too early to not, not start with coffee. Yeah, it's only about 20 after 6 there, I guess. Grant's got to go. He's... Uh, one of the busiest men I've ever seen. He's always catching flights, going somewhere with his job. Uh, have a good flight, Grant, and be safe, buddy. Talk to you later. Let's see here. Jim Senecola says, time to get out of bed and get my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, Dave and the group. New to the group and doing some research before pulling the trigger on the CNC. A little off the coffee topic, but can I ask you a couple of questions about Garage Work CNC? Well, you can, but I'm about out of coffee, so I'm not <laughs> sure how good the answers are going to be. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask, or you can shoot me a, a, a message or whatever, whatever you want to do, email, whatever. All righty. Well, let's see. Getting, uh, getting. I should have brought a pot in here, I guess, but I'm just um, gonna have to go run in there and get some more in a minute. Matt says he's got to run. Got to go finish editing his video. All right. We'll see you later, Matt. Uh, look forward to your video coming out. Okay. I don't know how to read this uh, counter. I don't think this counter on this thing is ever accurate, but I, it's obvious from the chat here that we've got people on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, this one, this isn't going out to uh, Twitch or Periscope like the, like the other lives do. But anyhow, I guess I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, Lewis, if you want to, like I said, if you want to send me a, an email with your questions, I'll be happy to get back with you. Um, my coffee's about gone, so it's time for me to get ready to get my rear end in gear. Kevin Calhoun, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Got to go pick up my brother and put the cord. Okay. Have a good day, Hitch. 
And thanks for joining me on the, uh, me and Sarah on the, the live stream the other day. I hate that I didn't get to uh, hear you guys that well. Uh, you know, I really screwed up. I have a, I have a nice pair of headphones here and I forgot to add them to my checklist and take them to, uh, to the reunion. So I got up there and then I thought, well, it's probably not going to be that loud. You know, we're a bunch of old people and I was kind of off. I, I, I was actually set up on the bar there. But, uh, but yeah, about the time I started to live stream, they started getting rowdy back there. So it was really tough to hear. So, all righty. There's the uh, man I was just talking about a while ago, Ryan Ballard. I was telling him that, uh, and I hope you haven't forgotten, uh, that you're going to be on the show this uh, Saturday and uh talking about uh cnc and raspberry pi so i'm looking forward to that i see uh javi's awake over there javi you want to uh you want to join me here or are you are you out in the homestead he just he just sent me a message over there uh yep really excited okay yeah i am too uh I know it seems like, you know, the, uh, the raspberry Pi is a really good way to go, um, with the CNC, um, you know, as far as inexpensive and stuff. Patrick says it's today, Saturday. No, it's not Patrick, but, uh, you, you know, you're, you're late as usual, like, <laughs> like you always are, but I just got on here. I, I told folks earlier, I get on here. Uh, I usually sit around and drink my morning coffee watching the news, but the news has just got so crazy that I need to take a break from it. So I thought I'd just get on here and see who shows up. And of course, look who shows up, the Patrick's, uh, uh, let's see, uh, 3D Printing Star, Patrick's Workshop. All right, John, uh, glad you got on here for a minute. Uh, have a great day. Breakfast time, great, good surprise this morning. Dave. Yeah, I might start doing these. It, it, you know, like I said, I, I I get so tired of watching the news, it, it's 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 well, if you watch the news, I don't have to say anything. You know what I'm talking about. It's just uh, all the stuff going on. And, of course, the, the politicians and uh, uh, got to take a break from it. So I figured this would be a, a, a more fun way to spend my uh, coffee drinking time talking to you folks. And um, it was. So anyway, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I've been on here about 30 minutes or so. Everybody have a great day. Um, you know, I hope uh, hope you all got in good weather. It's going to be hot here and a lot of other places. So if you're out in the heat, be careful. Stay hydrated. Um, and I guess that's going to do it. So let me see if I can figure out a good way to sign off of here. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Everybody have a great morning.